Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to update uh, your Nexus 6P to the latest MMB29P, right? Um, for those of you rooted and you never updated, maybe you're still on stock uh, or maybe you're on a custom ROM, but you've never updated your bootloader uh, or you've never updated uh, your radio, everything. But if you want to install the latest CM13 ROM or any of the latest ROMs, you will want to do this, otherwise you will end up in a boot loop. Alright, um, to check this, go to About Phone, um, go look at your build number, mine is MMB29T, so if you have something after 29P, you should be good to go, um, but uh, my, this is a custom ROM, so that's why it's showing it, but let me go ahead and how to, uh, show you how to install it, this way you don't have to install the whole uh, stock firmware, you can just go ahead and update the bootloader, uh, the radio and everything, so go ahead and power off your phone, and we're going to go ahead and hold down volume down and the power button and you can use Mac, Windows or Linux for this and once you see this Android guy laying down um, just go ahead and connect a USB cable to your computer by the way I'm using a USB type C to B converter and I got this retractable cable it's freaking awesome I'll have a video on that alright next you're gonna go ahead and um, go ahead and download uh, USB driver.zip uh, this one here you'll need drivers for Windows if you're using Mac or Linux you can go ahead and skip that go ahead and double click it extract uh, all files and you'll get a folder with all the files you need for drivers and for everybody else you don't need drivers if you're on Mac or Linux um, go ahead and download uh, also for Windows go ahead and download 6p MMB 29p Download it and extract all files and try to download to 6p-mmb29p folder. Alright, you get all the files you need. Here's a bootloader, radio, and vendor for uh, mmb29p. Alright, uh, for Windows, you'll need to drive, uh, install drivers. So go to Device Manager for any Windows. Whoops, Device Manager. And what you want to do is go ahead and find Android with exclamation mark, most likely, or say uh, Nexus 6P. Um, do a double click, hit update driver, browse my computer. Uh, this is very important. Let me pick from a list of dri device drivers and pick show all devices. So you have disk, browse, go to your download folder, and go ahead and select the USB driver. You unzipped the USB drivers. Hit uh, select the Android Win USB, open, OK. Choose Android ADB interface, next. Say yes, install, and boom shakalaka. Um, you should have Android ADB interface just like that. If you already see this, you can skip the driver installation part. And again, Mac or Linux, you don't need drivers. All right, next you're gonna go ahead and open up a uh, command prompt, so type CMD or however you want to open it. And next we're going to go ahead and type CD space downloads. Oops, downloads. Hit enter. Um, next we're going to type CD space 6P-MMB29P like that. All right, next we're going to go ahead and type fastboot uh, space flash space um, radio space radio angler blah what you can do is hit the radio type radio and hit the tab button and it will fill out the rest of the uh, name for you like that uh, for Mac or Linux I'll have the um, commands you have to type it's nearly identical but you have to use the Mac files and Linux files go ahead and enter that that will flash the new radio and if you don't flash this and you install the one of the latest ROMs uh, you will not get 4GLT or Google Fi will not work. Next go ahead and type fastboot space reboot dash bootloader uh, like that. Hit enter. Sorry, I'm, this is a one finger thing. Wait till your phone reboots into bootloader mode. Alright, once rebooted, you're gonna go ahead and flash the vendor. So go ahead and type fastboot flash vendor space uh, vendor.img Go ahead and hit enter. Alright, that will flash the vendor. And you're going to go ahead and reboot the bootloader. So go ahead and use the 
uh, top key there, hit it a bunch of times until you get to fast boot, reboot, bootloader, that way you don't have to retype it. Go ahead and reboot, and that will reboot your phone into bootloader again. Alright, and next you're going to go ahead and type the last one. Uh, we flashed the vendor, radio, sorry, um, and we're going to type uh, fast boot, space flash, space bootloader, space bootloader, and you can type just type boot and then hit the tab key. Alright, that's the bootloader. Hit that, and you're pretty much done. That's it. And you can go ahead and install, you can go straight to recovery and install a new ROM, uh, whatever. But this will be backward compatible with the uh, older ROMs too. So make sure you do this. Um, only do this if you're going to install one of the newer ROMs or if you're on a newer ROM. But this way you don't have to unroot your phone uh, back to stock and you'll be able to install uh, CM13 um, or latest being stock or latest resurrection remix. Uh, all the latest ROMs. That's pretty much it. I just want to give you this quick tutorial. I'm um, sorry about the <laughs> uh, handheld here, but I just want to make this real quick for those of you who didn't know how to update your bootloader, vendor files, and radio.